out of Brooklyn, where we have just learned a fire that broke out this morning inside an apartment building in Bushwick was caused by a lithium ion battery, the 216th such fire in New York City so far this year. Five people were taken to the hospital as a result. Two of them are still in critical condition. The FDNY gave an update on that fire a short time ago. Eyewitness News reporter NJ Burkett is live in Bushwick with the latest. NJ? Yeah, that's right, Sandra. Those statistics are staggering. This is 120 Menahan Street, Bushwick, Brooklyn, where, yes, yet another lithium ion battery fire has injured five people, as you said, two of them listed in critical condition at this hour. The fire broke out, Sandra, just before 5 a.m. Fire marshals say the cause was a lithium ion battery in an e bike. It apparently exploded spontaneously and set the entire living room on fire literally in a matter of a few seconds. There was a huge amount of smoke and the residents were overcome and they owe their lives to the firefighters who got here within three minutes and rescued them. There was so much smoke that two people on the seventh floor had to be treated for smoke inhalation. Firefighters held a news conference here late this morning. Our units moved in aggressively and deliberately with a hose line to extinguish the large amount of fire in the living room area. There were a total of five victims at this fire. Three victims were in the fire apartment. Two of those victims were removed from the window behind me. Then we had two other victims that were on the seventh floor. This fire was caused by a lithium ion battery. It's a blowtorch basically uh, inside your apartment. You can just imagine any combustible surrounding that fire will catch fire immediately and spread to everything in your apartment. And now the latest stats on these battery fires, 216, as Sandra said, so far this year. Do the math. That's just over five fires a week. 120 injuries, 14 deaths, all attributed to lithium ion batteries. Back now, the live picture you can see the second floor apartment this is where the fire broke out. This is where, as the fire chief said, two people actually had to be pulled through those second story windows, saved by the firefighters. Credit to them for saving their lives. Again, five people injured here, two of them still listed in critical condition at this hour.